The sun absent, the moon a paper cut, hibernal lowry. An unexpected crunching woke me, footsteps on gravel, a faint gruffling as something brushed against the chalet door. A light clack and scrape against the bullions, contented grunts sounding as the heart reached to steal a mossy treat from beneath the step. Across an asphalt scar, indifferent to our presence, crickets came to dine. The jetty, dew frozen onto its surface, dipped its feet, reflecting around the still quivering water's edge. The air, so cold, so tight, a well-placed pin could burst the atmosphere into shards of brittle oxygen. The lake had frozen beneath that paper-cut moon so quickly that a wavelet could still be seen, threatening to break, but caught, apprehended by weather. single track road flanked by quartzite walls, muricate gorse and pervious moss, winds through the lonely lands. A serpentine polecat flashes its ermine underbelly as it runs to safety. An aquiline danger, silhouetted against wetted blue skies, loses its prey. We arrived to silence and ate breakfast at a waterside cafe, watching the lock breathing through condensation that shimmered on painted silicate. The streets, filled with well-dressed and solemn people, drawn towards the harbour. Klondikes, long gone, have returned to the harbour to hushed sound. The crowd grew blocking the roads in the front. To the west, the focus, a cenotaph, a solemn finger pointing to the heavens. Ullapool exhales as a pipe and drum band punctuates the susurrant silence. The harshness of the pipes filtered by numbed air, softened by frozen breath. The mountains by the lock providing sublime reverberation. The dulcet, dulcet broom filtered, filtered drone, drone whispers its lament of black rivered waters. I glanced to the Brigadoon Hills, mist slow raced the lock, urgent but languid, before being absorbed into its waters. The reconnection of mist and lock, a reunion of mother and child in the mists of life. <laughs> 